TV, LCB. Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Karisha and I thank you so much for stopping by today. I will be testing out four different moisturizing methods, the lock method, LCO method, LCG method, and the LCB method. So if that interests you, keep on watching. Please do not forget to like this video and to subscribe to become a part of our family. So guys, for my first section here, I'll be doing the LCO method, liquid cream and oil. For my liquid, I'll be using plain old water. For my creams, I usually go in with two creams. So cream number one will be my Double Sheen Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning Cream for natural hair. And my second cream will be no other than the Cream of Nature Curl Activator Cream. I mix some castor oil, avocado oil, and some coconut oil. I want to show you guys how thick this is. My hair loves it. Do you guys see that? Listen. Where is this look? The next method I'll be demonstrating is the lock method. Liquid, oil, and then both of my creams. I supplied my liquid. Now I'm about to put my oil. This is about five drops. One, two, three, four. Cream number one. I have to be honest and say I was a bit nervous about this method, reason being I'm high porosity, right? Therefore, I need oils or butters or grease to seal that moisture into my hair strands to help keep it locked in longer. So when I applied the oil on top of the water, my concern was the oil sealing out or blocking the moisturizers from entering my cuticle to get to my cortex. But we'll see how the results turn out. So if we should compare this section to the LCO section, we can all see that it is more frizzy in comparison and that's because for the LCO method, I applied the creams and they were able to penetrate and moisturize my strands and the oil sealed that all in. So I'm moving on to this section right here and I'm going to be doing the LCG method, liquid cream grease. Yes. There are some persons who stay away from mineral oil or petrolatum because they say it coats the hair. But if you think about it, depending on your porosity, for example if you're low porosity, once you get that moisture into your hair, right, and you can seal it with a grease, then that simply means that the grease and your hair's porosity being low means that you can lock that moisture in for a good length of time. If you have high porosity hair, then the grease would be good to help keep your cuticles sealed for longer, seeing that your hair loses moisture more easily. 
for persons with a normal hair prosthesis, they have the choice, you know, if they want to use grease or not, seeing that their hair loses moisture and absorbs moisture at an average rate. It smells so good. If you guys use this, then you know the smell that I'm talking about. Oh, it smells so good. And the herbs that are in there. I am also aware that many people try to stay away from grease because they say it causes build up on their hair but that would be highly dependent on the porosity of your hair. So if you're worried about that just simply use a sulfate shampoo or an alternative form of cleansing agent. So here you will see me squeeze my hair to get the water worked into my hair strands. I am not low porosity, but it is something that I like to do. So if you are the type of person that you have the hair that whenever you spray water or any product at all and it sits on top of your hair, that means you have low porosity here. And that little squeezing method right there will do wonders for you. My favorite method to moisturize my hair is the LCB method as you probably have seen in previous videos I love how it seals my thick hair I'm telling you I am high porosity and the butter can give me up to five days worth of moisture however I usually moisturize my hair probably after three days or so but trust me LCB method hands down the best the best For anyone watching and your low porosity, I have a little secret here, a little gem for you, okay? So, whenever you moisturize your hair to help the moisture to be absorbed into your hair follicles easier and quicker, you know, just cover your hair with a plastic bag or a steam cap and you can either sit under a hooded dryer, a steamer or use your body heat for about 10 minutes or so to allow your cuticles to be opened up to absorb the moisture and trust me, your hair will retain the moisture once your cuticles are closed. So, we should all remember that finding the method that works best for us to moisturize our hair and to seal in that moisture will be dependent on our hair type, our hair's texture, as well as our hair's porosity. Let's say for example you have fine textured hair, then more than likely you will not lean to heavier products like I use, so you would probably stay away from grease or butters as that would weigh down your hair and lean more towards oils, lightweight oils. I usually get asked the question a lot, what do I do to retain moisture? And the key to all of this is to find the method and products that work best for you. Trust me, once you do and you get a method down pat, your hair <laughs> says moisture retention, growth and length retention, mm. knocking on your door, honey. 
so we have made it to the end of the video for those who made it to this point thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like this video and comment down below to let me know which method works best for you okay and if you're interested in seeing the takedown of these twists please do not forget to subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified immediately as that video is posted thank you again so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video in the meantime stay safe and big up yourself